Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for newcomers. My name is Didi. Yes, today again, amazing Bitcoin charts, an amazing trading tip, a travel tip, some live advice. I'm talking about the news uh, and a shitload of other stuff from the balcony of our beautiful house here in Phuket, guys. Now let's quickly jump into the first part of the video and it will be the charts again. If you don't prefer the charts at the first part of the video, let me know down below. YouTube loves it when you comment and then I will be pushed a little bit up uh, in the YouTube algorithm so more people will see this video hands loose again so need to get used to that stuff without a camera or a selfie stick but let's jump into the first part guys over here BAM For all the VIPs guys, this is the first chart. On this chart you can see that there is a buy signal on our new indicator. This new indicator setup you will find in the VIP Telegram group. You can see that there is a new indicator setup for you guys that is exactly the same than the previous BAM BAM um, that was taken away from you because of a partner that was stabbing me in the back guys. Now we have this new indicator exactly the same, even better performing uh, that has exactly the same setup. So make sure you go to the VIP Telegram group to get access to that one for free of course, including all the other free services I'm giving you there now in the Telegram group, like daily updates and videos. But this chart guys is showing you there is a buy signal on the four hour and there is a candle that now needs to close in one hour and 30 minutes that could close above the yellow stepping line. We can also see here in this part of the uh, chart that the green line is on top. This works like a traffic light. Green line on top is good for a long. Red light on top is good for a short. All other combinations are not good to take a trade. Now that would be a confirmation. Then on the bottom we can see that the white line is at the level of 29. Um, this is like very low and you can see that the white line starts to curl up now and the blue line already crossed it also a very positive confirmation because the white line needs to be pointing up and the blue line needs to be above the white line to be able to take that trade because of the indicator now this one here is the last thing that we need we need a confirmation of that candle closing above that yellow stepping line if we get that then we have a triple confirmation and the best thing out there would be if this one over here would turn green instead of yellow and blue you look to the left where the green part are that's the bullish part the bulls the bulls cannot perform underwater or on the beach they can perform on the green grass hills that's a small step to remind you of how it works now that was a short term chart guys so uh, be aware go to the new vip telegram group then i have another chart this is the day chart I don't know if you watched the last couple of videos, but I told you the last couple of videos exactly what would happen. I told you we will pull back to that green line. You can see what I told you yesterday, that red line, that 200 daily moving average, that is a huge area of resistance. You see, we tried to break it with a few candles all the way like almost a week. We couldn't break it and now we are falling down again. I told you yesterday we could be pull back all the way to that green line. And what did just happen? We exactly pulled back to that green line. That's a shoulder pad for myself because I was perfectly correct on what was going to happen. From this moment on, we want to see a beautiful reversal candle. So we want to see this candle closing with a large wick to the bottom so that we can see reversal again. Because if you look on the day chart, we still are forming over here. This is the low, higher low, higher low. That was the high higher high now we need to create a higher high so there is a perfect possibility that we will create low higher low higher low high higher high even a higher high and that higher high would then be above that 200 day moving average that is now resistance that red line so that is the thing the move that i want to see if we break that green line we will fall back to the next level of support and it could be all the way to 25,000 us dollar again if we keep support on that green line, we could go and make that next move in creating a new higher high. And that higher high would be around the 28,500 US dollar level then. Now, let's jump into the next chart. This is of course a little bit more zoomed out. This is so showing you all the way from 2010 till now guys. Uh, this is the Bitcoin one plus year huddle wave. Uh, this chart is showing you that the yellow line is the people that hodl Bitcoin for longer than a year. And every time when that bull market starts, you can see the yellow line going downwards. So that means that that long-term holders are selling during the bull market. They are not waiting for the top. They are selling during that bull market. 
they sell at different levels not only at the top nobody will be able to predict the exact top so the moment that bull market goes full on after the halving they already start selling bit by bit by bit and sometimes they buy back and they take another pump and then they sell again but in average this is how the one year huddle wave goes look also to the last bull run 2020 to 21 you can see the price is going up but the young the one year huddle wave is going slowly down now we have slowly been increasing against in price and also in the hollow wave this will continue till the new bull market top then we will see that hollow wave again turning downwards again very interesting chart pause the video and analyze it for yourself a little bit more that were the only three charts for today guys i hope you really enjoyed these videos guys yes always the same mantra for me guys it's beautiful to look at the short-term uh, charts if you are a trader but if you're an investor like me then it's more important to zoom out in bitcoin look at the bigger picture look at everything around you and not only the small uh, time frames and zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is what you should be focusing on and we have a few products as the bitcoin family that will help you with this for example we have the bitcoin family uh, free signals trading signals that tell you when we sell and when we buy bitcoin it saves you a shitload of ta and a shitload of time in doing the research yourself you just join our telegram group and you will be notified when we do the trades and how we do the trades and yes we will keep you up to date on that trade and also tell you when to exit that trade very simple the only thing you need to do is sign up to bybit and use our link down below there is no cost involved with that telegram group and the other thing we have guys is a beautiful trading bot the trading bot is making us three percent a month and you don't need to send us bitcoin we will never ask you to send us bitcoin the only thing you need to do is you need to connect your api of bybit to our bot so we will never be able to steal your bitcoins take your bitcoins we will only be able to trade your bitcoins with our bot and that bot will start to trade your bitcoins on your exchange you're in control and will start to make three percent a month and of that three percent you need to pay a small part to the bot company which is called sequence trade with weekends now we are doing a deal with them as the bitcoin family so if you sign up using our link you'll pay a little bit less fee to sequence so there are two amazing products that you can use if you're an investor and you do want to have a little bit of excitement of trading as well guys now let's jump into the next part the trading tip the trading tip for the day guys is a very important one you always take your trades because of your analyze because of your ta never take a trade out of emotions emotions will get you wrecked you need to set your trades because of the ta you did no emotions involved the charts are showing you exactly what kind of trades to take the travel tip for today is a very helpful one guys um, you know that moment that you booked a trip to for example phuket and you're like oh what can i do what should i do uh, who can help me who can advise me uh, maybe i should uh, book a company to do all those trips no what you do is this you go to for example reddit or any other mo social media platform and you post the thing that you are going to do there so you post there hi guys i'm flying the 14th of november to phuket i want to stay there for one month um, i want to do some adventures i want to do some snorkeling for example what do you advise me to do and then you have a ton of advisors on reddit like shit loads of people that are there that was in phuket that will advise you and give you all these beautiful tips what to do in phuket you can do this on reddit you can do this on facebook you can do this on instagram you can do this on all those social media platforms you don't need a professional company anymore that you need to pay to make a beautiful itinerary for you no you can just use the community that's why it's called social media ask asking for help is not a weakness asking for help is a strength and it's always better instead of searching everything on youtube everything on instagram everything on facebook you know you go through all those groups that's like searching that will take you a lot of time you need to reverse that thought process what you do is you post a question and then you will get a lot of input that will save you a lot of time receiving that input makes it so easy for you to decide then okay this is what i want to do this is what i do and that is what i do instead of searching hours and hours and hours so that was a travel tip for today the news for today guys um i read this article the mastercard they just announced that they were able to wrap central banks digital currencies so this is a very important news 
Mastercard announcing that they are able to wrap central banks' digital currencies, and they wrap them to be able to use them to buy certain assets on blockchains like NFTs or tokens. So this is a very important step because this is a step that now centralized entities are taking to connect to the blockchain. So people will not have the need anymore, for example, for Bitcoin because now they can use their MasterCard and wrap their central bank digital currencies on that MasterCard to be able to directly buy an NFT on a certain blockchain or an asset on a certain blockchain. So that is the connection they want to make between the traditional finance world and the new decentralized finance world. So a lot of people will say this is very positive because it kind of is positive because they now admit, wow, what these guys have been building over there, this is very interesting. We should be able to connect the traditional finance to this new finance world. So they found a solution now to wrap the central bank's digital currencies into a crypto to be able to use it to buy, for example, an NFT. The same thing we do with Bitcoin. If you want to use Bitcoin, for example, on the Ethereum blockchain, we can wrap Bitcoin and it will become the WBTC on the Ethereum blockchain and we can use that wrapped Bitcoin to buy stuff on that Ethereum blockchain. So you're just copying what Bitcoin already did. Now the part that I don't like about this is that it is a centralized entity. They again want to be in control. They determine if you're able to use those assets that are wrapped in the MasterCard environment. Bitcoin, you are in control. You and I determine if we use Bitcoin on the Ethereum blockchain. Nobody will be able to stop that. If you wrap the central bank's digital currency on that MasterCard environment, they will be able to stop you for using it to buy stuff on Silk Road, for example, which is not possible anymore, but like, for example. So they are in control, just like the traditional finance with your euros or dollars, the central banks and the governments are in control. And that will be the same situation with MasterCard. If you wanna be completely free, and support freedom of finance, freedom of spending, then the only option is Bitcoin, for example. Because Bitcoin, you hodl, you're in full control, and if you wanna use it on the Ethereum blockchain, you wrap it into Ethereum, WBTC, and you can use it on the Ethereum blockchain. But you are in control, you're able to unwrap it again into Bitcoin, etc. Full control by you, that is Bitcoin. All the other alternatives, that will be presented as the new beautiful world of finance because it's the centralized finance wrapped central banks digital currencies on mastercard or any other platform will help a lot of people out there a lot of people will be happy because they will feel secure because yeah it is that lovely central banks that uh, are in control and they always did good in my opinion they never did good so those people will be happy with it but i would just want to educate you that there is a huge difference between that and the bitcoins so that was the news for today. I get a lot of questions, guys, about uh, happiness. How is it possible that you're always happy? First of all, I'm not always happy. There is also days for me that call off days that I'm not happy, but I still try to be happy. But there is one lesson that I really learned. Happiness is not something ready-made. It's not just there. Happiness comes from your actions. It is very important to understand. You can think, ah, I should be happy because happiness is something ready-made like this. Everyone should be having happiness. That's not true. Happiness comes from your actions. For example, if you help someone today, you become happy because of your action. You help someone, you feel fulfilled and you're becoming happy yourself. If you do something that makes you happy, for example, now walk the beach, that creates happiness. If you take certain decisions in your life, steps in your life, that will lead to happiness. Happiness doesn't fall out of heaven, bam, and now you're happy. That doesn't work like that. Happiness always comes from your actions. So it's very important for you to understand that when I am happy, so it's very important for you to understand the reason that I'm mostly happy in my life is because I do the stuff that makes me happy. I do walk the beach, I do travel to Thailand, I do spend amazing time in Portugal on the beach with Bam Bam beach members. I do all these kinds of things, all these actions, because I know they lead to happiness for me. 
I do go play pedal yesterday morning because I become happy. So the more things you do that you know that will create happiness, the more happy you will become. A lot of people daily do things that they know that will make them unhappy. For example, a job. Some people do the job just to make money, but they know the job is making them unhappy, but they just keep continue doing that job. Why the fuck would you keep continuing that job if you know that it makes you unhappy? There is millions of jobs, there's millions of opportunities, there's millions of possibilities. Don't think inside that box. Don't think that you can only do that stuff that people told you because you followed a certain education. Yeah, you studied four years. Yeah, that was four years wasted of your time, in my opinion, because there's millions other things that you have talent to do. And if those millions other things are things that will make you more happy than your job, then start to do those million other things. Stop doing the things that make you unhappy and start taking actions that will lead to happiness. That was my inspirational tip for today. As you know guys, in the last part of the video, I always answer a question of the follower and it was questioned down below the video yesterday. So don't forget to ask a question down below this video today because I will answer that in tomorrow's video again. Uh, a question, there was two questions yesterday's video. One question was a very simple one. It was like, Didi, how is it possible? You always have these beautiful, clear images. What kind of camera are you using? I am using my iPhone. So I'm using the iPhone 14. Um, Pro Max, I think it is. Yes, it's Pro Max. And that's giving me these beautiful images. So I'm not using any special vlog camera. It's just an iPhone 14 that I'm using. Uh, I'm about to buy the iPhone 15. Jessa was already earlier. Jessa did a lot of savings the last couple of months and she bought already the iPhone 15. So Jessa has the iPhone 15. I still have the iPhone 14 uh, Pro Max. So I use that one to do all those filmings, guys. The second question was about, Didi, is there still exchanges left that are non-KYC, non-regulated, where you don't need to do like full KYC, uh, show passports, uh, proof of address and all that stuff. There is less and less and less exchanges that are non-KYC. I think I have still two links down below the videos to non-KYC exchanges. The most important one, number one non-KYC exchange is Apex Pro guys. It is a DEX, a decentralized exchange on an order book model. Apex Pro, I've been investing already in Apex Pro since the beginning, since they started, because I believe they will become one of the biggest decentralized exchanges for the next board. It's a beautiful exchange where you don't need to put your crypto, your bitcoins or your Ethereum on the exchange. You just connect your wallet, your MetaMask, your Trust Wallet, whatever wallet you're using to Apex Pro and you will be able to trade on that exchange with leverage, etc. You can place buy orders, sell orders. It's like completely different than, for example, Uniswap, where you can only swap at that rate that they give you. Apex Pro is a decentralized exchange with an order book model. You can put buy orders and sell orders in it with and without leverage. You can use staking and mechanism and everything else. Apex Pro is for me the number one exchange, non-KVC. And the beautiful part is, is that if you already have Bybit, Apex Pro is integrated into Bybit. So if you now need to do KYC on Bybit, you can withdraw your funds into Apex Pro, start to use it there in a non-KYC private way. So for me, only Apex Pro is a non-KYC exchange out there. The second link down below the video is to MaxC, which I think is still non-KYC by a heard gossip that they will be KYC now as well. I didn't do research about the second one, if it's KYC or not, because I'm not using them myself at the moment. I'm trading full-time on Bybit and Apex Pro because I just want to make it easy for myself. Just use two exchanges to trade and I'm trading on Bybit and I'm trading on Apex Pro, guys. Now, that was the answer to the questions of yesterday. Don't forget to ask questions today again down below this video. And that is also the end of the video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts and everything else that I share with you guys in this beautiful video with this beautiful backdrop again in Phuket. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam.